So our season has been off to a slow start as we got demolished in our opening day game and swept as well in the series. And with our next series against the newly relocated Washington Nationals, we need to bounce back and get our first win of the season. Al Leiter would be making his first start of the year for us and Tomo Oka would get the call for the Nationals. We would start bottom of the first runners on the corners. Mike Lowell is going to take this up into center field. And that would get our first runs of the day on the board as we would strike first moving to the bottom of the third once again exact same situation same result Mike Lowell with an RBI single that would bring up Jeff Conine to the plate bases loaded he's gonna drill this one into left field and that would score another run jumping to the top of the fifth now 0-2 count on Termel Sledge he's gonna take this one deep right field over the head of Jose Encarnacion and he would get the Nationals on the board Luis Castile now up to the plate here bases loaded bottom of the sixth looking for the 6-4-3 double play but the throw is off target and he would get an RBI as now it's Miguel Cabrera grounding that one up past second and into right field for another run. As that would bring up Mike Lowell who's been having himself a day so far and he's going to continue to do just that as he's going to knock in another run with his third RBI single of the day. As that would now bring in Justin Wayne from the bullpen for us to close out the game. All he has to do is manage this lead. We're up 6-1. to one. But off the bat, he is going to give up an RBI to Jose Guillen. That would bring up Vinny Castilla now. Runners on the corners. And that is going to get down into right center field past Jose Encarnacion. And this is going to score two runs for the Nationals. 6-4 to four now. They're only down by two. And J.D. Corey is going to get this one. A short fly ball that's going to fall into center field. Take a bad hop off the wall. And this is going to score yet another run for the Nationals as Corey is in there with a triple that would bring up Brian Schneider now top of the eighth deep fly ball into right field and this one is gone just like that Washington has tied it up here in the top of the ninth it's JD Corey along the right foul line that's gonna get down and that's gonna score another run for the Nationals as they are gonna take the lead here Fly ball into right field. Finally, they put Nick Johnson away. That would end the top half of the ninth. We're down to our final three outs. Make that two. Mike Lowell would ground out. Now it's Damian Eastley as he's going to ground out to second base as well. And then Jeff Conine down to our final out. A ground out to first would end the game and that would do it as Washington completes the comeback as we have officially blown a five run lead. The rest of the series went just as poorly as we would end up getting swept and pitching unfortunately has been the roughest spot of the team early on this season. But I'm hoping we can turn this ship around this series against the Phillies as we'll get our first live look at Dontrell Willis on the mound for us tonight as well. But you know things can't be off to a great start if the first highlight you see Jim Tomei in the batter's box as this one is going and that one would be gone as Jim Tomei would give the Phillies the lead here moving all the way to the sixth other than that first plate appearance from Tomei Dontrell Willis has been looking good as we would move to the bottom of the sixth down two to nothing still as that's going to be in RBI from Damian Eastley. Kenny Lofton now up to the plate. He's going to take this right field and that's just barely going to get over the wall. As with that extended lead for Philadelphia, we would bring in Nate Bump from the bullpen and his second batter he would face would be Bobby Abreu. He's going to take this deep right field. That one is gone. And yet again, another highlight with Jim Tomey in the batter's box. That can't be good as he's going to replicate his first plate appearance here with another home run. Two on the day for Tomey as Pat Burrell up to the plate. Finally, we are going to get out of this inning with a 3-6-3 double play. That would bring up Jose Encarnacion, bottom of the ninth, down to our final three outs. Shallow fly ball just past first base. They would put that away. Then Nate Bump. Still in the game, batting for us, no pinch hitter as this is surprisingly going to get down and our pitcher is going to get on base. But our luck wouldn't continue here as Juan Pierre would strike out. And then Luis Castile up to the plate. 
With our last out on the line, he would ground out, and yet again, we couldn't pick up a win, as we would lose this one 5-1 to one to the Phillies. We did receive some good news though, as Adrian Gonzalez is returning for us from injury, and we managed to win the rest of the series against the Phillies. Despite that, it's been a very rough start to the season, and the front office has already taken notice of those struggles. Let's pray and hope we make it through year one without being fired. Juan Pierre would be up to the plate here for us in the third, bases loaded, no out. He's gonna ground out to a 4-6-3 double play, but he would get us on the board first with a run as now it's gonna be Luis Castillo that's gonna bounce off the pitcher and they can't save it at first. So that would count as an error, but we would get another run to go up 2-0. Here in the fourth now, it's Paul Laduca. He's gonna come in clutch with an RBI single for us. And then Damian Easley with the bases loaded. A chance to drive in a run, only one out. That's going to be deep enough into center field to tag up another run for us. As then Jeff Conine with the runners on the corner. That's going to get down past second and into right field. And that's going to score another run for the Marlins. As we move to the ninth inning now, this is going to be Damian Eastley. He's going to hit that up into center field. Luis Castile is coming home, but he's going to be thrown out at the plate. A great throw there from center field. As now David Wright up to the plate, and he's going to ground out to a fielder's choice. That would bring up now Mike Piazza, runner on first. A deep fly ball. That's going to be over Miguel Cabrera's head, and that's gone for a two-run homer. That would bring up Mike Cameron to the plate. 0-1 oh, one, count, one out, ground ball. Conine has it over to Rydling. He taps on first for the second out. And then Cliff Floyd up in the box. Fly ball into left field. Miguel Cabrera is going to be there to put that away. And Florida is going to walk away with a win here over their division rivals, New York. So after that win, we would pick up two more against the Mets to sweep them and extend this winning streak to five games in total. So let's go ahead and see if we can keep it up with a short two-game series here in D.C. We would start off with some pitcher versus pitcher action here. AJ Burnett in the box should ground out into a routine 4-6-3 double play, but they're going to overshoot second there, and that's going to turn into a single. That would now bring up Luis Castile as he's going to look to drive in a run, and he's going to do just that, an RBI single for him. Mike Lowell would be looking to follow that up with an RBI of his own. He's going to do just this and double it as they're going to bobble it in right field, and this is going to be a two-RBI single. As now Damian Eastley up to the plate, he's going to get a hold of this. Is it going to fall in time. Yes, it will. They cannot make the catch. Another run scores for Florida. And finally, to the bottom of the ninth, Andy Chavez up to the plate. He's going to ground out to second. One down, two to go. It's Jose Guillen now up to the plate. He's going to take this deep center field. Juan Pierre going back. He will put that away. And Benny Castillo, the last chance for the Nationals here is coming in is Miguel Cabrera and he would put that one away as AJ Burnett is going to pitch a complete game shutout for the Marlins as they will walk away with a victory here five to nothing over the Nationals. The following game against the Nationals we'd win to complete the sweep but then would get swept ourselves by New York so we'd be looking to get back on track here against Cincinnati as Sean Casey would be up to the plate going up against Dontrell Willis. This is a long shot into right field just over the wall a three-run homer for Cincinnati to open up. Willie Mopania now up to the plate, still top of the first. Willis has not got out of this opening inning as he's going to drive in a run with an RBI single. And Eric Milton with two outs, 0-1 count. Willis is going to force a ground ball on to first and finally get out of this inning. Luis Castile now up to the plate in the bottom of the third as Juan Pierre is on first. He's rounding second. And it's looking like he's going to round third as this is going to be an RBI double for Luis Castile. Mike Lowe would follow that up now with only one out. A short line drive getting down into center field. Luis Castile would round third and he would score. As we would cut this down to only a two-run game. Moving to the fourth inning, it's Jason LaRule sending this over Miguel Cabrera's head and into the empty stands for a solo shot. And our manager had seen enough from Dontrell Willis today as Antonio Alfonseca would come in from the bullpen. First up would be Austin Kearns here, top of the sixth, and Alfonseca doing exactly what Dontrell Willis was taken out because of. That solo shot would put Cincinnati up 6-2. to two. Then it's Ken Griffey Jr. He's going to get this down into left field up against the wall. 
And this is going to be an RBI double for the kid. As we would move to the bottom of the ninth, Luis Castillo, our last chance to stay alive as he is going to ground out. And Cincinnati is going to take the opening game here in this series. What we saw in this past game against the Reds were two of our biggest areas of concerns I see in this team so far this season. And that is our ability to drive in runs. We had just as many hits as the Reds did in this game and we still lost by five. The other area of concern is our pitching as a hole across the team. Willis' stat line this season of only six strikeouts, nine walks, and an almost 5.0 ERA through four starts sums up our team's pitching so far this season. But thankfully, after talking about them, our offense and pitching showed up the rest of the series against the Reds and the following against the Rockies, as Dontrell Willis would get another crack at it on the mound here for us as we look to sweep the Rockies here in Colorado. Willis is definitely trying to show us something after we were just talking about his stat line. He has pitched six hitless so far, but that looks like it's going to end as Luis Gonzalez is going to go off into right field for a two-run homer. Rockies would take the lead, but Dontrell Willis trying to make up for that in the batter's boxes. He's going to take this into the gap in left field. Runner rounding third, and this is going to be an RBI double for D-Train. Something we don't see a lot from him, but we would now be bringing in Nate Bump out of the bullpen. As he would get us to the ninth inning here with this 4-6-3 double play, giving up no more runs the rest of the time on the mound. And we would be down to our last chance here in the ninth inning, as that's going to be a ground out to start for us. Jeff Conine couldn't get on base. It's going to be Paul LaDuca, though. This is going to get into left field, and he's going to get on base for us. Following that up would be Juan Encarnacion here in the batter's box. That's going to get up. Ground ball into center field. We're going to have runners on first and second. We have a chance to tie the game up. Nate Bump, I don't know why he's in the batter's box. Why is there not a pitch hitter as he is going to fly out to left field? Down to our last out now. It's Juan Pierre. He's going to take this one deep right field. Will it get gone? No, it won't. That is going to be short, and the Rockies are going to be able to avoid the sweep here at home. So we would take that series 2-1. to one. In our following series, we would drop game 1 against the Phillies, but end up taking the series 2-1 to one over them. And at the end of our first month, that would put us at 13-12, and 12, only a game and a half back from the first place Mets. But with our pitching being as poor as it has this first month, we might need to make some moves. And there are some notable names on the trade block that could definitely help make a difference with this team. But those are some decisions we'll have to make a little bit later as we're getting ready to gear up for our second month of the season and trying to take over the first place spot of our division.